So, last night I went to the cinema with my two daughters and we went to see the Barbie movie. I was not expecting too much from it. I've been keeping up with the reviews. I was planning on, you know, watching it when it came out, doing a video. But as things turned out, went to the cinema to see it. I was very surprised. Um, it's not at all what I thought it was going to be. I fairly enjoyed the movie. I'll probably get a lot of flack for this, and I don't actually care. It was really well done. I loved the story of someone having an existential crisis. That is the basis of the film. And Margot Robbie played the part fantastically because she makes known that she is a stereotypical Barbie, whereas she has no discernible skills except to be Barbie. That is it. I'm not going to go too much into the story because I would advise you all to go and see it. From when it started to when it finished, the underlying story of everybody can be what they want. It's not just about girls being able to be what they want to be. This isn't a movie that, despite what all the reviews are saying, that, oh, it's a feminist movie. It's not. It's far from that. If that's what you're getting from this movie, you're obviously not watching it properly. You're not listening to the message. Yes, there is feminist tones throughout the movie. It's Barbie. Obviously, it's marketed for female audience. But there's underlying stories in with that story. I've seen all these people saying it's just a silly movie about Barbie to make money for Mattel. Of course it is. Of course that's what it is. Mattel were never going to put their name to a movie if they didn't think it was going to make them money. They make fun of themselves by saying that in the film. They say, oh, oh, like, like that's going to work. And then somebody says, oh, that'll make money. It's like, oh, okay, right, we'll do that then. Because Mattel is a toy company and they want to make billions. And from this movie, as of recording, the movie has hit billions. It's done its job. People went out and watched this movie and people enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. From the writing to the cast to the production, it was fantastically done. There, I couldn't see any faults in it considering what it was about. The fact that they make it a meta movie by bringing Barbie into the real world and then it gets to Mattel who know that Barbie Land is a real place, it just adds to the whole story. And another thing about when Barbie and Ken go to the real world, because in Barbie Land, everything's run by Barbie. All of them are Barbie. They're the leaders. They make the rules. They do this, they do that. Kens are there to be just there to look good. It's a flip on actual society as it is in the real world and when they come to the real world and they see this flip this extenuates Barbie's existential crisis because it's like why is this world like this and then when Ken sees it he's like why is Barbie world not like this and it was really well written the cast was insanely stacked there was so many big named people and some of them are just in like smaller roles they have got involved in this because they've read it and they've went this is going to be something and I can understand why they've done that I mean I'm not going to go through all the names but some of the people have been in big budget movies the next Doctor Who for example he played one of the Kens Chutty Gatwa now he is in this movie that's made over a billion dollars now and now is going to headline the Doctor Who franchise for the next how many of our years he wants to continue that. It 
I mean, if if there was one thing I had to say that was negative about the movie, it would have been there was too much music in it. But the way they used it fitted in with the whole theme of the movie. The dance scenes, the fight scenes, they were all there for a reason. Everything was put there for a purpose. The way it brought everything together as well, fitted in. It's not like when you're watching a musical and then they have a bit and then they do a big dance number and then it's like back to where they were as if nothing happened. They make this actually a part of the movie. It's happened. They make reference to, oh, we, we, we're going to my house for a choreographed dance number and a party. And that's there. So, oh, let's go to the beach while I sing you a song. And then it's there. So it's like everything was done for a purpose and a reason. There was nothing that wasn't there just because they wanted it there. There wasn't CGI for the sake of CGI. So I don't want to go, again, too much into it just because I want you to see it. It's not a terrible movie like what some people are out there saying. If I had to give it a rating, I would probably give it a four. And if you know, if you watch other channels where I do ratings, like the wrestling one, I'm very picky about my ratings. Uh, and again, with movies, I'm very picky about the ratings that I give. Because I like to see an enjoyable movie. And this is what I saw. And I haven't told anybody else eh, that I've enjoyed it yet. So this is going to be the first time that anybody's hearing that I've enjoyed it. So if you've got anything to say to me, give me a shout. If you didn't enjoy it and you've seen it, let me know. Let me know what you didn't enjoy about it. If you enjoyed it, let me know. I'm open to discussion. So on that note, See ya.